We are launching Baby Buckler application for baby safety. For more information, please stay watch video. We are introducing this application in some easy steps. Please steps added on when user launch this application first time. On intro page we explain how to use application and what's the uses of this baby buckler application. Baby buckler application is useful for parents that wants to keep eyes on baby. This application provide baby current location on map with location informations. And this have features for hand safety zone, danger zone and way pads. Once zone or way pad created then parents got notification as per selected settings. Like if kids goes inside or leave any zone then parent got instant notification on mobile. Same like if kids come back from school or go to school then on start way or reach destination parents will get notification. On way path if kids leave define route or stay on route more than stay time then get notification on parent mobile where baby buckler application install and configure with baby details and device details. By end all user will easily understand of application uses and features of application. User need to buy gadgets for use this application. These gadgets also available on our website www.babybuckler.com. User just need to register with us and use this gadget on add new baby accounts. Once intro completed, we got login page. In this user will log in using user access and social media sign in options. Facebook login. Twitter login. Google Plus login. Using these features user no need to register with application. It's automatically managed as per user social media authentication. It's just take authentication from social media. Here also option for create account manually using new account button. If any user lost their password then they will able to get back password on email by click on can't access your account. If any user want to register on baby buckler then click on new account on login page. Here user create new account just fill up form with required information and press register now. After this user will able to log in with baby buckler for track their child. If user already register or want to log in using social media then click on log in with baby buckler account. After log in user reach dashboard page. That's having lots of features. In this have baby manager that's have feature for add new baby and existing baby, track history of baby. Zone manager, in this have features for add or edit safety or add zone, add or edit way path. Notification, all type of notification will available with icon of number of unread notification. Pay manager, payment will be paid by user as per selected plan. Map, on the low map we able to see all baby current location on map. Also show zone created as per user assigned through zone manager. Location auto update in 3 to 4 minutes. Have button for change view of map hybrid or root view of map. On dashboard when we click on baby manager. In baby manager we manage baby informations. Add new baby. In this parents will able to add child with required info. Also able to modify existing, able to change existing baby information. Call now button works one click call available for call to baby by parents. On click add new baby. We reach add new baby page. In this user need to fill baby informations. Baby full name. That show all where. Unique in number, it's IMEI number of device that send regular data on our server. Device configuration setting available on website. Notification email, each notification also goes on email and. Baby phone number, it's phone number of that SIM which added inside device watch. Date of birth, we send reminder notification before birthday. Device. 
It's device model number with cues for drug baby. Speed. It's max speed of baby. If baby going fast using bus or bike, then got instant notification on mobile. Photo. We show photo of baby for recognize. On that bar, we have option for see history of baby. When we click on this, we able to check their track on map or list view. On history page, we managing last seven days history. Here select user and date from list and after then get history of user in list view or map view. On click history. We got history page on list. We are getting name of user and date that selected. In list view we show details of baby where they dropped. We get location address from reverse geo code as per baby location. Also showing particular time when selected baby reached that palace. Here in current location inside any zone, then we show name of zone. Also have total time of stay on single location. On click map button that's located on top right, then we get the same result on Google map with track and details. When we click on back and then from tab bar or dashboard we click zone manager, we reach zone manager page. Here I click add new zone. Now we get add new zone. Here user create zones on map for getting alerts. User will select zone type like circle zone or square zone. Circle zone. Automatically circle created on map where current location exists and user will able to drag the circle to anywhere on map. User also able to change size of them. Same like square zone created in square format, but user will able to make them custom as per their requirements. Also drag them on another location. Once zone location set up then click on proceed button that's located on top after navigation bar. After this we got save zone page where we need to select some kind of settings for zone. Baby list. Select baby that's user want a notification on particular zone. Day name. Select day that's enable for get notification for zone area. Time. The zone is enable for as per edit time. On click save settings we redirect on another page that's have some more settings related to zone. Here we need to select some kind of information like Zone color On save user will able to set color of zone for recognize easily Zone name On notification and history user will get name of zone if user inside on particular zone In zone alert If this toggle is enabled then user will get notification when baby goes inside that zone Got instant alert notification Out zone alert if this toggle is enabled then user will get notification on baby leave the zone area. On save the zone permanently save in your safety zone. Same as safety zone we able to create danger zone. Danger zone also have same like feature with some advanced notification. If any kills comes inside that kind of zone then user get notification in interval. Now we use another feature that's is Waypath. Waypath is used for safety of baby on any road. Like if baby have a particular route for school then we got notification when baby start the way and also got notification on change route. Start location. Start from location or we able to choose current location. It show our result on this. End location. Same like start location that's for destination location where baby goes. Once location set and root are all, then we are able to change this route by dragging points of push pins. Like if any school bus have different route, then we are able to choose route different as per route of bus. Once route decided, then click on proceed button for select more settings like user, day wise and time and same like safety zone, then it's proceed on next page for save way path. Here we have some extra things from zone. On save waypath we need to put some extra things. Waypath color, it's for easy recognize of path on map. Waypath name, name of waypath that show everywhere. Meter range, 
It's useful if they believe more than this range of current route than got notification. Time stay, if they stay on location more than selected time than got notification. Start arrive alert, if toggle enable then got notification on baby start on way path. Destination reach alert, got notification on baby reach end location of way path. On save way path saved. Once safety zone, danger zone or way path created, then we able to show it on each tab. Show all list of zone that's added with current account. Like school zone, relative house, extra class zone, game zone etc. Same like we also able to see danger zone and way path list on clip tab bar menus. In listing we have some fields that's we able to change. Baby list, user will able to modify list of baby. Day list. User will able to modify day list which active for zone. Modify, by this user will able to modify current zone location in settings. Here same like safety zone learn more option available that says danger zone. If any baby goes inside danger zone, then user will get notification as per time interval. Now we are talking about main feature of application. That says notification. This page will got from dashboard menus. We have lots of type notification in this application. Some main notification we explain. Red zone notification will get if baby goes inside red zone area then user will get notification as per interval. Green zone alert will when baby stay in green zone but time stays not matched then got notification. Way path notification user get when go outside from path or stay anywhere on path with exceed time stay. On start way path user get notification if this enable on settings. When baby reach destination of location then also get notification. In zone or out zone notification, got notification when user go in any notification that's enable this feature. SOS alert, got alert on press SOS button. This application managed through our server and our server get location from device, that device need to always with baby. For manage all this data on our server, we take charges from user. This charges user will pay using payment manager. Here user will able to check their current plan and able to upgrade or downgrade them. We show here plan start to expire date with plan information. On payment history page user will able to see their payment history. User will also able to check their total payment paid for service include plan name, due date, duration, pay on and amount of that. User will also able to change plan as per their requirements. Here user will able to check their current plan and able to upgrade or downgrade them. On change plan invoice automatically generated that's user will able to pay through direct transaction or PayPal. User will able to change their global settings here. Push notification toggle by default is on for getting notification on phone. If user disabled this then not get push notification. Same like email it also get notification on email. If remove this email it then user will not get notification on email. SOS number, it's used for setting of SOS number on GPS device watch by using command. For this need to support device for AT commands, command that's an accept by watch. Change password, user able to change their password for login.